Hey, how you doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Today we have a little different video. I have a topic that was inspired by one of my members. I think one of my only male members on the Scripture Squadron. So you can check that out in the link in the description or in the comments. Scripture Squadrons are exclusive videos every week. And I do topics from your guys' questions. When I got the time, there's a lot now. So this one is inspired by Julio or Julius Wise. His profile picture, I believe, is from the anime Black Clover. So shout out to you. I like the anime. <clears throat> so Julius Wise says, I want a woman that's loyal to the core. And I'm going to delve right very deep into this topic because this is something that I think all men need to understand when it comes to a woman's loyalty. So I'm going to break this down. This is going to be some master level game breakdown. And this is very high level stuff. I do believe the one person that this video is for, Julius, I do believe he's very young. So I want you to listen to this, brother. And anyone else who enjoys, you know, our, our content, thank you very much for listening. But we're going to break this down. <laughs> some things Jay has never revealed before. <clears throat> So welcome back to the Scorpio Scriptures Podcast. I'm your host, Master J. This is where we talk about astrology, all things Scorpio related, and the expansion of consciousness. So today, we're going to expand on the consciousness of the love of a woman. A woman's loyalty. Now, I'll tell you something for sure. Loyalty is very important to everybody. But... When a man says he wants a woman that is loyal, really what he's saying is he wants a woman that will never look at another man like he's the best man for him. Well, the question is, are you? Are you the best man for her? Because she ain't going to be loyal if you don't make her want to be loyal. That's the way it is as a man. <clears throat> Woman won't just be loyal to any man. Because if they were loyal to every man, well, that would be stupid. Correct? If they were just loyal to any man, why? Do you deserve their loyalty? That is the question to ask yourself. And that is the question for every man to ask himself. Every man wants a loyal woman. But why should she be loyal to you? When she could be loyal to the man who might be more intelligent, more smart, more well put together, more well developed. What is it about you that makes a woman loyal to you? Women are very fair in when they choose a man. And I do say choose. It is the woman that chooses the man. Women are very, very fair when they choose a man. They are very pragmatic. It is men that usually fantasize about women and imagine women. A woman has something in her DNA. Let me tell you these things. When a woman looks at you and meets you for the first time, she knows exactly who you're going to be in her life. So how would a woman be loyal to you? Well, if you are that man who ticks all of her boxes. Because women don't really fall in love physically, so to say. Body, nice smile. But women walk through the world with feelings and energy. <clears throat> and they are loyal to their feelings. And they are loyal to the energy. So, why am I saying this? What is your energy as a man? In the book of Manmir, A-M-A-N-M-E-R-E, -E, I believe, by Master Yao Yamake Morris, a mentor of one of my mentors, Ram Wills. He says something. He says, throughout the studies, I've been all across the world. The natural blueprint of sexual relationships is something that Master Yao studies. And he said, to my surprise, I was very shocked that deep down in the psychology of every single woman is the desire and the need 
to submit herself. Yes, I use the word submit. Submit herself to a greater external force. In the psychology of every woman is embedded. She wants to trust in something. Whether it is religion, whether it is the news, whether it is her work corporation, whether it is her group of sisters, whether it is her man. Deep down in the psychology of every woman, they want to trust, they want to submit, they want to yield to a higher authority. It may not be a man, it may not be a physical object, it may be an idea. Now, now, independent woman, don't start coming at me and say, No, I'm my own boss, I'm blah, blah, blah. You submit to something, whether it's money, cars, an ideal, a way of thinking. Because it's in the psychology of every woman. Now, as a man, you must understand this. Women are extremely loyal. Women are more loyal than men. When a woman is loyal to her job, she is extremely loyal to her job. When a woman is loyal to her children, she is extremely loyal to her children. When a woman is loyal to her man, she is loyal to her man to the very bitter end. So my brother says I want a man, a woman who is loyal to the core. Oh, trust me, women are loyal to the core. <laughs> but what makes a woman loyal? The energy that she receives. Hmm. Now let's get into this for real, for real. I said in the beginning, women sense energy. Yes, they do. Women have what they call woman's intuition. They are highly psychic. Never lie to a woman. She's gonna know. She knows when you're lying. She might just brush it off anyway. Okay, whatever. I know you're lying, but whatever. Woman, no energy. So if you want a woman who's loyal to the core, you have to understand this. You have to be that man who is worthy of the woman's loyalty. It is not free. It is not free. But a woman is waiting or looking for a man who fills that deep inner need of psychology. But dare I say, it's not even a psychological thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's beyond space and time. Women want that man who make them feel complete. Who make them feel like the woman that they never thought they could be. Every woman may meet that man in her lifetime usually it's just one or two we call it a soul imprint but i don't even know if it's on the level of a soul imprint <clears throat> it is something that can span past many lifetimes the man of the woman's dreams changes her forever his energy is so strong. His energy is so pure. His energy is so righteous. It is the missing little thing in her life that she did not know she needed. Ah, <sighs> Finally, I can breathe. Finally, things start to make sense to me. That man is the only woman. Excuse me. That man is the only one that gets that woman's true loyalty. Now let's keep going into this. How do you become such a man? Well, let me ask you some questions. <clears throat> Who are you? As a man, you are here to grow and develop you are simply not born great. You are not simply born at your full potential. Do you stand in the mirror with a pure heart, knowing that you are the most wise, most intelligent, most powerful version of yourself? I stand in the mirror with a pure heart. There are no skeletons in my closet, thus I can speak this way so freely. 
the demons of my past the sins that I have committed I have been purified of them thus my energy is more direct more focused more calm I know that I am the most powerful version of myself thus I am able to deliver something to a woman that she cannot get from other men that is divine masculine energy from the most high who are you are you working on yourself every day are you building yourself every day are you maximizing your time here on this planet are you becoming an amazing man the man of your dreams building yourself building your empire pushing Helping other people, loving other people, spreading the gift that God has given you. Are you doing that as a man? You have a duty to your lineage and a duty to your bloodline. To be nothing less than exceptional. Why would a woman be loyal to you if you are not that type of man? I would question. You understand? It all begins with you. Because when you are this type of man, time and time again, you will meet these type of women who just when you meet them, something in their mind, something in their heart, something in their soul says, I need to be with that man. And she becomes engulfed in your energy. Just a simple touch. Just a simple look before you even lock eyes. <gasps> this is it. That is the man of my dreams. That is my king. And that is the man who I want to be his queen. I want to be by him. I want to ride with him. I want to die with him. I want to lie with him. I want to cry with him. I want to have children with him. I want to go through every struggle of life with him and only him. Uh oh, she's been imprinted. Even before we kissed, even before we spoke, the energy was so strong. It changed everything for her. Oh, she's loyal to the core. She's loyal to a fault. She's loyal to the end of time, in this lifetime and in the next. Why? Because as a man, You must develop yourself into an amazing man. Focus. Direct. Light. Love. Expanding. Growing. Never stopping. Always flowing. Always becoming more. Always challenging yourself. Pushing yourself to the next level. Becoming to a point where even your level of success is intimidating. Can I go even further? Yes. I will bet on myself. I will challenge myself even more and more and more until I ascend to the realm of the highest. And then can I go even higher? This love that I have for myself, this love that I have for God, this love that I have for my family, this love that I have for my nieces and nephews. When a woman feels just a hint of it, <gasps> it engulfs her. You can never make a woman want to be loyal. You can only be the one she wants to be loyal to. And this comes from reality. Being real with yourself. <laughs> this is how women truly fall head over heels for a man. <laughs> Before the whining, before the dining, before the kissing, before the romanticizing. Just a sense of the energy is enough. Very few men will understand this. But I'm sure some woman will understand this. There's always that man. There's always that man. Just from his mere existence. 
does he do something to her? Why? Because he has built himself into that way to affect the people around him in such a way where they grow. A byproduct of being around this man is spiritual evolution, acceleration of consciousness, the desire to love and be loved. When a woman meets a man like this, it hits her like a lightning bolt and the trajectory of her life is forever changed. So as a man, I never have a desire to make a woman loyal to me. I just have a desire to simply be. By being the best I can be, and by being the best I can be to God in my bloodline. Love of a woman is a side effect. And of course I love my woman, I love my woman hard. Because the only woman that a man should truly love is the one who love him, who like him. So you want a woman who is loyal to the core? Are you loyal to your own core? For the woman is your reflection. Are you? If you want a woman loyal to the core, do you stand in the mirror with a pure heart? Knowing you have been loyal to your morals, principles, wisdom of the others, the elders around you. Absorbing knowledge and understanding so you could be... A wise man who can go and walk in this lifetime and influence people in the name of good. Are you loyal to yourself to want a woman to loyal to you? Because you are the leader in that relationship. See, it's a lot of work to be an excellent man. But that's the only way you're going to have excellent relationships with women. When it's built upon a foundation of truth. When it is built upon a foundation of love. One is built upon a foundation of principles. She wants to love you because she can smell your energy and it's so amazing. I love his energy. I love his vibe. Oh, women are loyal, right? And women love hard. She'll move across the country for you. She'll throw away her whole family for you. She'll quit her job, start a new business for you. Woman love hard. But are you that man who's worthy of the responsibility of a woman like that? There are levels to this. <laughs> I'm just showing you a tip of the iceberg of one of the highest levels. A Scorpio King's game. It is no game. It is simply being. It is simply bringing your energy to such a high level that it engulfs everything around you. And attracts those on the same frequency as you. The frequency of love. 